Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your good brother, J News, with another edition of J News Japan. And we are here tonight talking about nights two and three, respectively, of Road to New Beginning, New Japan Pro Wrestling, live at Currican Hall. January 18, 2021 was night two. We had a match to start off this particular event, tag team action. Yuya, Yura Morris, Satoshi Kojima versus United Empire Boys, Great Okan, and Will Ospreay. Nine minutes and 13 seconds worth of what we call our most basic New Japan action here. Uh, more, uh, more being developed between Will Ospreay and Satoshi Kojima. They have a, a special singles match coming up within the next uh, 10, day, 10 to 14 days, I believe. And the Great Okan, um, they're making the Great Okan look as good as he can um, and look as dominant as he can against the Young Lions positioned in the tag team matches with Koji. So, Great Okan wins with the Eliminator. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it uh, palming of the face choke slam uh, on you or more here after the 9 minutes and 13 seconds. Um... Kevin Kelly was basically uh, positioning the singles matches between Will Ospreay and Satoshi Kojima and Great Okan and Hiroyoshi Tenzan when he does return. So that match was for the purposes of those matches. Then, eight-man tag. We have members of Suzuki Goon, Duki, Yoshio Bukanamaru, Ellis Parado, Ebenor, Suzuki of Suzuki Goon versus members of the Bullet Club, Jado, Gato, El Fantasma, and Taiji Ishimori. A rematch with the previous night, 9 minutes and 48 seconds here. We had um, more usage of El Fantasmo's loaded boot in this particular match. El Fantasmo struck El Desperado uh, with a soul butt to the gut. And El Desperado, throughout the entire match after that particular maneuver, was selling uh, injured ribs. Also, um, if I'm not mistaken, in the previous match... Uh, El Fantasmo hit Yoshinobu Kanabaro in the knee with that loaded boot as well, so he was super. He was overselling that one. Uh, Doki and Jado, for some apparent reason, have some sort of uh, online social media beef going on on Twitter. Uh, they don't have any sort of a scheduled uh, special singles match for the New Beginning Tour, but it seems like they might meet up uh, later on um, down the road. Uh, Gato is being billed and or personified as having a downtrodden attitude after um, Jay White's vacancy of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, I put that in air quotations because there's been a lot of news and a lot of hubbub about where Jay White's going to go, uh, if he's going to show up at the Royal Rumble. Um, you know, what's, what's his future in professional wrestling? Um, for me, they're overselling this at this point, uh, which tends to lead me to believe that Jay White is still with the company. Um, because when guys are usually on their way out from any company, uh, re the most recent with Ethan Page on Impact Wrestling and stuff like that, uh, they did not sell him as him being on his way out. Uh, same thing when John Moxley left the WWE, they more or less gave him, um, uh, gave him a swan song, but they weren't selling, uh, him leaving as, as a, um, as a storyline, uh, point. Um, so keep that in mind to give you the runabout here. Uh, Desperado wins this match with Numero Dos as he put Gato in the submission. Uh, the Suzuki Gun Faction uh, gets the win here. Um, yet again, more traction for the feud that is going to be leading to the uh, tag team match that will take place on January 23rd between Yoshiro Kawaramaro, El Desperado versus El Fantasma and Taiji Ishimori. Um, so that will be that going forward. Third match of the night, we had the Chaos members, Yoshihashi in this match, along with Tomohiro Ishii and Kazushika Okada, going up against members of the Bullet Club, uh, Dick Togo, Yujiro Takahashi, and Evil. 13 minutes and five seconds here. Uh, more of the back and forth, the Evil not wanting to approach Okada in the match, and then when they hit, when they got together in the ring, um, it was short-lived. Okada wants a piece of Evil, Evil doesn't necessarily want anything to do with Okada, but they're more or less presenting 
uh, the Evil and Okada uh, feud or and or storyline to be a little bit more down the road. Uh, the New Japan Cup was mentioned by Kevin Kelly uh, to be specific um, during this match. And yet again, I have a feeling that the Never Openweight Six-Man Tag Team Championships uh, will be on the line sometime down the road uh, with Tomohiro Ishii, Yoshihashi, and Hiroki Goto going up against Jujiro Takahashi, Dick Togo, and another member of the Bullet Club to go after those championships. 13 minutes, 5 seconds, Kazuchika Okada straps the money clip onto Dick Togo to get the tap-out victory in this match. Then, we have the fourth match of the day. We have Show of Chaos with Tomoaki Hanma and Kota Ibushi to go up against members of Los Ingo Men of Japan, Hiromu Takahashi, Tetsuya Naito, and Sanada. 12 minutes and 27 seconds. Here, uh, more development between Kota Ibushi and Sanada. More development here between Sho and Hiromu Takahashi. Uh, actually, Sho and Takahashi started off the match here on the 18th, and they started off um, very quick paced and fast. Uh, Tomo, you know, Tomo Akihama, um the throw in here on that side, Tetsuya Naito now being more developed as into his uh what the transition is gonna be for, for, for Naito. Uh is he is he the is he the, the pick to win the New Japan Cup coming in March? Uh you know, time will tell. Um, we will see. Um after the twelve minutes and twenty seven seconds, Sonata did end the match with the skull end on Tomo Akihama. Um and then I guess you can say words were exchanged between Ibushi and Sonata. More pleasantries than words here. Uh, Tetsuya Naito uh, walked away from the situation. Hiromu Takahashi uh, basically um, taunting Sho with his belt and the and the Boss J27 um, trophy. So we have that to keep in our hats as well. Then the main event on the 18th, Master Wato. And Hiroshi Tanahashi, the ace, going up against members of Los Ingo Benavides Japón, Bushi, and Shingo Takagi, 14 minutes and 6 seconds. This was the match of the night. Great action between Master Wato and Bushi. Uh, they they really do gel and click well um, in, a, in a one-on-one situation. Um, Shingo Takagi and Hiroshi Tanahashi really developing uh, that that uh, comfortability, comfortability with each other in the ring as well. Um... In this particular match, they did not target the knee of of Tanahashi, but they were in the mode of uh, basically trying to keep him off the top rope. But to no avail, after 14 minutes and 6 seconds, Hiroshi Tanahashi hit the high fly flow on Bushi and got the pin. Good win for Hiroshi Tanahashi here. Uh, Tanahashi, after the match was over, cut a very emotional promo uh, to the crowd at Kurikan Hall. And him and Master Wato did a dueling uh, air guitar presentation for the fans in the crowd. Then, the next night, tonight, January 19, 2021, another show at Currican Hall. Um, we had the tag team match, which started Yoda Suji again with Satoshi Kojima uh, versus them, United Empire Boys, Great Okan, and Will Ospreay. I do have to mention something that I did notice. Within the first three shows of uh, the Road to New Beginning, I have not seen um, Gabriel Kidd at ringside at all or doing any sort of young boy stuff. I'm not too sure um, if he is ill, if he's been able to go back home or anything of that nature, uh, but he has not been one of the young lions on the outside of the ring. There's actually two new young lions that have been appearing at the outside of the ring, which I don't know who their names, what their names are. Um, but I'm sure that they will be debut- debuting sometime soon. Um, and Yoda Suji and Yuri Yurimura, um have been uh, the mainstays. But no Gabriel Kidd during the New Beginning tour so far. Uh, 8 minutes, 36 seconds. Um, I would say that uh, in this match, the only difference that I saw for this particular tag team match, uh, Kojima and Suji started off hot um, to get on uh, Great Okan and Will Ospreay, but to no avail. Um, so Shikojima is still taking the beating. Uh, Yoda Suji still eating the pin. Uh, Oz Cutter wins the match over Yoda Suji in this particular case as that goes on. Then, the rematch of rematches. We had another eight-man tag. Suzuki Goon 
versus Bullet Club, Doki, Kanamaru, El Desperado, Minoru Suzuki versus Jado Gato, El Fantasmo, and Taiji Ishimori. 10 minutes, 42 seconds. In this particular match, El Fantasmo hit the loaded boot to the gut on Kanamaru. And Kanamaru really oversold uh, the, the, the sole butt to the, to, to the, rib, uh, to the ribs. Uh, here, Kanamaru taking the majority of the uh, uh, of the beating in the match. Uh, Doki uh, actually spent a lot of the time on the apron. Uh, only got into the match near the end. Uh, Minoru Suzuki was neutralized throughout throughout the majority of the match. Was not able to get in um, a lot of offense at all. Um, and when he did, he was in the ring illegally. Uh, barely got legal tags. The ref had to stop him from coming into the ring with a chair at one point. Um, Minoru Suzuki just not able uh, to disseminate his brand of violence on the Bullet Club at all. Uh, El Fantasmo here gets the win after 10 minutes and 42 seconds with the loaded boot super kick that knocked out Doki uh, to get the 1-2-3. Um, Jado and Doki still jawing off. And obviously we have the uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match that will be coming on the 23rd of January, which is this coming Saturday. Then, third match of the night, we had KLS members Yoshihashi, Hiroki Goto, and Kazuchika Okada going up against Bullet Club members Dick Togo, Yujiro Takahashi, and Evil. Uh, in this particular match, um, I would say, uh, obviously, the, a different combination of the Chaos uh, faction members here. Um, Yoshihashi looked real good. Hiroki Goto looking clean. Kazuchika Okada doing his best. Um... But at the end of it all, uh, at the end of it all, Evil comes out with the win, hitting everything as evil on Yoshihashi after 11 minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, the Bullet Club did start off this match hot as they attacked uh, the Chaos Faction members before the bell even rung. Um, and that's the way that the action started and they were able to uh, pick the members of uh, Chaos uh, part one by one. And Evil was able to get that pin on Yoshihashi, as I stated before. Fourth match of the night, we had a tag match. Tomaki Hanma and Kota Ibushi versus Tetsuya Naito and Sanada. 13 minutes, 7 seconds. Uh, the outcome here was more than obvious as to who was going to win. Uh, good showing between Kota Ibushi and Sanada. Uh, Tetsuya Naito uh, just putting on a clinic of, of, of making himself look good. Uh, basically trying to show out uh, before... The New Japan Cup begins. Uh, he has been now spearheaded as the favorites to win the New Japan Cup, uh, a la Kevin Kelly. Uh, so we will see how that ends up. Um, Hama ate the pin here as Tetsuya Naito hit Destino on Hanma after that 13 minutes and 7 seconds. Uh, more of the pleasantries exchanged between Kota Ibushi and Sonata after the bell rung. Uh, Tetsuya Naito actually attacked Hanma after the bell after the bell rung and sent him into the guardrail um, and gave Sonata his time with Kota Ibushi in the ring. And after Ibushi left, uh, they were able to uh, present themselves with the fist in the air of Los Ngobanados de Japón uh, to show their hand in victory. Then, the fifth match of the night, the main event six-man tag match for Wato show Hiroshi Tanahashi Versus members of Los Ingo Banabas Japon, Bushi, Hiromu Takahashi, and Shingo Takagi. 14 minutes, 45 seconds. This was a very, very well paced match, uh, to say the least. Uh, everybody got their shit in here, <laughs> to, to be quite honest, which was cool to see. Uh, to mention something about Master Wato uh, after Wrestle Kingdom, I didn't necessarily get to mention this during our Wrestle Kingdom uh, pay per view roundtable, but Master Wato's gear change is a good look for him a good entrance jacket robe combination thing um they changed up his um his pants which is now the two shades of blue they lost the pink thank god um and he looks like he took another step in the right direction on his way to the grand master i just wanted to point that out about master wato don't necessarily know how how his Special singles match is going to go with Bushi uh, on the 10th. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, Hiromu Takahashi and Sho, you know those guys are going to put on, pun intended, no pun intended, they're going to put on a tremendous show for that uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight ta Championship match. And then Shigo Takagi, he seems more than prepared to elevate 
and make the Never Open Weight Championship something that people should be going after uh, in New Japan Pro Wrestling and to do that to heighten the lure of the Never Open Weight Championship. He seeks to beat the ace of New Japan Pro Wrestling in Tanahashi. Uh, Shingo Takagi was able to get the pin on Master Watto when he uh, caught Master Watto in midair, then put him on his shoulders and hit last of the dragon to get the one, two, three after 14 minutes and 45 seconds. All right, guys. So to let you know, night four, uh, new beginning show uh, will be coming back. Uh, and this will be airing on uh, January 23rd, which is this Saturday, uh, on NewJapanWorld.com. Uh, obviously, I'll be covering that for you all so that we get the results and you guys get the, the highlights and the pinpoints there for everything that will be happening. Uh, so, here we go. Road to the beginning. Night 4 on the website it says night 5 But it is night 4 It'll be taking place at the older professional gym uh, Not Kirikin Hall um, Last time that New Japan Pro Wrestling Was at the Oda professional gymnasium Was January 6th of 2020 For New Year's Dash So first match of the night Is going to be a Tag team match for Suzuki Goon members uh, Minoru Suzuki and Doki Versus uh, Bullet Club members Jado and Gato then we will have a six-man tag team match. We will have members of Chaos, Kazuchika Okada, Tomohiro Ishii, and Yoshihashi versus Evil, Yujiro Takahashi, and the spoiler, Dick Togo. Then we will have the tag team match on January 23rd. It'll be the return of Hiroyoshi Tenzan teaming with his old tag team partner, Satoshi Kojima, going up against those United Empire boys, Will Ospreay and the great Okan. So that'll be going down uh, on January 23rd, uh, Road to New Beginning. Then we will have a special 10-man tag uh, <laughs> uh, that'll be the semifinal, the semifinal of the show. It'll be members of Los Ingobernables, members of Los Ingobernables de Japón, Sanada, Shingo Takagi, Tetsuya Naito, Hiromu Hiro Takahashi, and Bushi. Versus the amalgamation tag team of Master Watto, Sho, Tomoaki Hanma, the ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and the double champ himself, Kota Ibushi. Uh, this will be going down, and this will be the semifinal main event of the night. And then the main event of the night, it'll go down. Tag Team Warfare for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. Members of Suzuki Goon, El Desperado, and Miyashino Bakarara will go up against Bullet Club members, uh... Taiji Shimori and El Phantasmo. Uh, we will see if El Phantasmo loaded boots will will uh, will help Bullet Club claim victory and have some new shiny gold added to the Bullet Club faction. Then to let you guys know as to what's going on uh, with the new beginning shows. So as per my understanding here, these are the matches that will be taking place on January 30th uh, for the New Beginning Tour. Uh, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one match between Tenzan and Okan. Uh, that'll be the third match tonight um, for the show on the 30th. Then we'll have the fourth match of the night, uh, Will Ospreay versus Satoshi Kojima one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we will then have... Uh, the semi, then we will, then we will have the main event of that particular night, January thirtieth, be the never open weight championship match between Shingo Takagi and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Then we have the, these are all the title matches that'll be taking place on the between the tenth and the eleventh, um, and the special singles match. So on the tenth, we will have the special singles match between Master Watto and Bushi. Uh, we will also have on the 10th the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match between uh, the Gorillas of Destiny, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa versus the Dangerous Techers, Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, on the 10th as well, we will have the one-on-one -on -one matchup for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship between Hiromu Takahashi and Sho. And that will probably be the main event of the 
uh, on February 10th. And then the main event on February 11th uh, will be the double championship match, the double champion himself, Kota Ibushi versus a member of Los Cinco Manos Japón, Sanada. Well, that will take place on February 11th. Uh, the other matches for that card have yet to be booked and determined. So I just wanted to give you guys that rundown and all that news uh, to give you all a roundabout of what's going on with New Japan Pro Wrestling. As always, thank you for watching, folks. Uh, it always means a lot uh, seeing the comments and seeing the views. Um, appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the True Heel Heat YouTube channel. Um, I'll be back during the weekend, folks. You know me. I'm here for you. Uh, be well, y'all. Take care of yourselves and stay safe out there. Um, and as always, stay wrestling fans. I'm about this. I'll see y'all on the flip. I'll catch you later, folks. Take it easy. Peace.